Unfortunately, I can cut out a long pauses in this video. This video is a mess. Have fun, enjoy video, mess video, enjoy, pauses long. Whoa, isn't that weird and wacky and wild? I recorded other voiceovers, but they're not there. I think I know why, but let's not get too caught up on that. You see, I already recorded all of this, the voice parts, then I accidentally deleted them, now they're gone. Great. I recorded this four other times, and then I thought, hey, what if I didn't screen record and also voice record at the same time? And instead I just said things, and then I realised that would actually be way easier. That's what I'm doing now. Anyway, the technique, of course, yeah, the technique, I'm using Liquify and also the symmetry tools, specifically radio symmetry without any kind of rotational symmetry, isn't that crazy? As you can see here, it's very useful how the tools work. As I was saying, radio symmetry plus also liquify makes these interesting shapes that can be quite useful as symbols and things. I did it myself for some college art stuff. The animation you saw at the beginning of the video was not what I used, but it almost was until I made something even better that you might even see soon in the video. Anyway, that previous thing you saw wasn't good enough for me. I had to make a black background and use the flame brush. The flame brush is pretty useful, but as you can see, it does, it does that. It does that. Isn't that cool looking? It looks so futuristic and science. Losing the liquify tools, I can make it even more interesting looking like this. Look how interesting it looks. Shapes and colors. Woo! That was too much for me though. Too cluttered. So I changed it. Did that. Changed it. Lowered the distortion. That's better. What did I do then? Did it more. Did it more. Wow. That's my impression of the shapes moving. Go and I dare you, you fool. Go even further inside. Zoom in. I know you will. Zoom in so I can continue with the video. Nothing's even happening here. Please zoom in. He will do it now. So as you can see, he's now doing this. By which I mean me. I'm the one doing that. I do everything. Looks pretty good right now, huh? But what if I said it could be better? Duplication. 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 I have no idea what any of the blend modes do. I just use them. And if they work, they work. Is that such a crime? I don't think it's a crime. It better not be. What am I doing here? That's right, I'm inversing and switching between blend modes. Subtract, looks pretty good. Makes certain things harder to see. Not anymore. Don't do that. Adjusting some things. Seeing what works. That works. That doesn't. That works. That doesn't work. Stop trying to do that. It won't work. I dare you, make a new layer. Mm, that's what I thought. Coward. Yeah, there's not much else to say about this, is the Play around of settings. I use the bloom things later on. That's all. Wow. What else do you want from me? Bloom, another good setting you can use, makes everything more vibrant. 
No, of course, sometimes it reveals parts that I don't like, like those weird grey lines. No one, those those are grey and weird and also lines. Everything's lines, but those lines I don't want. That's fine, though. They can stay, I guess. If they really have to. Adjusting things. Sometimes things just look too much, too bright, too glowing. I don't want red and yellow. I want purples and stuff. Mostly. You gotta like find the real. Oh, you gotta find the right balance, and then you'll find the right balance, and then it will work. And that took five minutes. Now I'm gonna show you others that I made. All right, here's the first one. This one reminds me of a weapon that shoots light. Here's the next one. That one looks blue. Wow, it's ne the next one is black and white. Look at those cool fiber looking things. Isn't that crazy? Okay, that last one reminds me of Hard Knight, by the way. This one's interesting too. This one kind of looks like fiber. It's pretty cool. It's got some needles in it. Here's the other one. That one looks interesting. I made it out of wallpaper. Okay, here's some more of them. This one, the other ones are moving actually, and I can go a bit uh, slow on this one. I can say, yeah, this one I almost used for my project. This one is two seconds long. This one I did use for my project, it's pretty long, it's like 23 seconds long. It looks interesting, it's a little bit clunky at times, but it did what it needed to do, and it did it well enough. So I'm satisfied with it. Look at that. Wow! Now it's going the other way, because I reversed it. And that's all of them. And this one I made for a previous attempt at making this video, but then I didn't use it. And that's all of them, but...